Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you a comparison between Bitwarden versus 1Password, which one is better? So let's get started. So here we are and we are currently in Bitwarden.com and the first thing that we'll discuss is the pricing. So as you can see right here in Bitwarden, this would be the prices for the personal one. And this would be the one password prices right here. And yeah, let's go for the Bitwarden first. So right here in Bitwarden is that you have a free plan right here compared to the one password where you only have the individual plan. There is no free plan available right here. And right here in Bitwarden, uh, it is considered considerably cheaper right here and in the business right here you have these prices right here you can get a code you can go for enterprise or teams while in uh, one password right here you only have this you have the business plan right here the teams are packed the families and individual plan right here and so on these are the only plans uh, Bitwarden has the personal and business type well one password doesn't have two types right here you can already see all of the plans available for you and price wise i think bitwarden wins for this one because it is considerably more affordable compared to one password but i think the price that one password has set right here is pretty much reasonable considering the features that you get from one password and how much it's easy to use and its ui which we'll be discussing later on Alright, so now that we are done with the pricing, let's move on to the most important part or reason of having a password manager, which is security. Because you don't want a password manager whose security is trash. I mean, it could easily get hacked and it has some previous records of being hacked like LastPass and so on. But the good thing is that between these password managers, both of them has a robust security system including end-to-end -end encryption, zero-knowledge architecture, and so on right here, which we'll be discussing right now. And yeah, so having end-to-end -end encryption right here in both of these password manager would enable to ensure that the user data encrypted on the client device before it's transmitted into their servers. This means that even the service providers themselves cannot access your stored password or other sensitive information. So only you and you alone knows what is inside your vaults right here in your password manager. And the same goes for the zero knowledge architecture. It basically just uh, does the same thing. It ensures that only you have access to your stored information information right here or yeah they uh, the zero knowledge architecture would have the capability to restrict access to your master password or the encryption keys right here and uh, including in the security uh, segment right here we would be discussing the multi-factor authentication because that is also very important in keeping your account safe so first is here in Bitwarden we're gonna go into settings and from here we're gonna go into security and then from here you can see you can log in with a passkey right here use a generated passkey that would automatically log you in without a password biometrics and so on so you can do this and most importantly you need to enable the two-step login this is a must if you have a password manager you need to enable this in your features so you have your authenticator app so you can use a lot of authenticator apps like uh, Authy or Google Authenticator and you can also use other authenticator apps and you have your YubiKey which is a um, works with YubiKey 4 series, 5 series and so on. You have your Duo, WebAuth and email right here. So yeah, you can enable this ones right here so that you have a two-factor authentication. And the same goes for, uh, for one password right here. So when you go into your profile right here, you would be able to see a 2FA option right here more actions manage two-factor authentication so right here you only have two options which is the authenticator app and the security so number wise a bit warden would win right here because it has a lot more features right here in the two-factor authentication but one password has um has this code right here or secret key is that only 
you have that is unique to your account so for example this one right here i have the secret key so i can just show it right here because i can just regenerate it later on anyways so this would be your secret key so you would need this every time you log in into a new device so having a password and secret key right here in one password is having a uh, one key in total because you cannot have a one uh, password only you don't know the secret key you cannot log in into a new device you would only be able to log in with a password if you have already uh, previously logged into that device so secret key is very important and you have an emergency kit right here which is very neat of one password you can click on that and then it would automatically download your secret key as a pdf file and then you can just view it and then you would have your secret key just like this one right here and you would have your setup code right here which is qr and yeah and so on so i think uh security wise i think one password is the uh, the winner right here in terms of uh, security because of the two-factor authentication right here i think the secret key is a really good game changer for one password all right so now that we are done with the security now let's move on on the ui or the ease of use of each password manager right here because i think that is also very important in choosing your password manager so that your uh, password manager won't be a pain so let's go and create an account right here so we'll be using bitwarden first to the test then after this we'll be using uh, one password so we can compare so the first name would be Chutes, and then from here sample just for an example right here and my email address i was just gonna paste this right here or just like so and my password right here so as you can see this is how uh uh, Bitwarden will show up right here so you can save your information right here in your registration by clicking on the Bitwarden icon click on new item and then this tab would pop up right here so here in your password you would have this so you can click on this one right here so that you would have the password generator of Bitwarden which is also really handy so you have the two options password and fastbrace so in my case i'll just go for something like this and you can customize other settings if you want but in my case i'm satisfied with this i'm gonna click on select and then after that it doesn't automatically put the password right here which i think is a bad one so i'm just gonna go and copy this one right there and i'm just gonna go and make it visible so i can copy and paste it so yeah it is very tedious right here and you're just gonna paste that and then sign up and then i have to go back into the tab and then click on save so that i would have it right here and now we have successfully created our account and let's say uh we want to log in now right here so let's log out first and when you log in with your save information it would look like this all you have to do is click on the email and then it would autofill the email and the password which is really good one click or two clicks is all it takes for you to log in which is quite good for bitwarden so yeah that is bitwarden now let's move on to one password all right so now here we are and now let's move on into using one password so let's provide our first name so as you can see you can also uh, autofill your first name right here as you can see it would uh, fill it up for me based on my saved uh, first name last name and email i didn't have this done uh in preparation uh this is automatically filled by a one password which is a really good one right here because it detects your first name last name and of course your email that you would like to use and yeah you can just do that or you can just change it yourself and then you would have the icon right here you can click on that one and then it would open up these browser extension right here of one password so right here in the uh, password you would have the password manager right here so you can or the password generator i mean i'm sorry so you can click on this one and then you can generate your own password and this would be the controls of that so as you can see you can save this item that you have just generated or autofilled using one password into the vault and this is how it would look like with their ui and yeah i think it's very good and you can add tags so that you can organize your passwords better with the password manager right here so you can click on save and yeah just like that you have successfully saved uh, your information with one password so you can click on create account just like so and then now you have successfully uh registered and so on right here so you can see here in the browser extension of uh, one password 
you can see your infos right here and so on so you can click on uh, let's log out again right here and then we're gonna log in and see how easy it is to do it here in one password so click on this one and click on that it's basically the same thing with bitwarden and it all it takes is two clicks and then we have successfully logged in so yeah that's it and i think the better one for this one in just in my preference of course if you have a different preference then you might have a different choice but than mine but in my case i choose one password for this one right here i think it's a clear winner and yeah that ui is just so easy to use and you can also use their uh the app in uh, your in your pc both for one password and bitwarden but i didn't show it here in this video because it's basically the same thing with the website right here but of course with the app you would have uh, additional features but we're not gonna go in depth with that so now i'm gonna give the conclusion of this video so i think the winner for this one is one password because of its secret key which is a game changer for security and its ease of use right here so yeah it's, it's really easy to use for me the only downside was the pricing but it's pretty much justified so yeah one password is the winner for this video so i hope this video helped you out in choosing the password manager for you thank you for watching